what am I gonna do? I'm gonna lose my job. I have messed up so many product launches, they're never gonna trust me again. What am I, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna solve this? I, I gotta get it together. I gotta assemble a team. Hey Richard, I know Soup and Flash wasn't the best idea. I know we lost some money on it, but I have this great new idea, idea for a product called Chicken Sensations. We're gonna increase our revenue by 20%. How does that sound to you? Let's hear it. contribution margin income statement it gives you the amount of cases that would need to be sold gross sales of uh, 99 million three hundred and sixty thousand and here you see the total variable costs would be 79 million it, which gives you a contribution margin of 19 million three hundred ninety five thousand and nine hundred and when you take out your fixed costs from that um, you can see that you still get a projected operating income of ten million five hundred ninety-five thousand and nine hundred, so launching the product would be successful and give you increased income. So the next thing we're going to do is to calculate our break-even analysis in cases. So first, we have to calculate the contribution margin per case by um, subtracting variable cost per case by the selling price per case. So here we got our sales price is $36 per case and our total variable cost per case we add up the coupons, commission and variable product cost to get a total of 28.97 uh, variable cost per case which gives us a contribution margin of 7.03 per case. And then we'll move on to fixed costs which includes slotting costs, package design costs, retrofit expense and salaries and wage expense that adds up to a total of $8.8 .8 million of total fixed costs. And so to calculate our break-even point in cases, we divide um, fixed costs by the contribution margin per case. So $8.8 .8 million divided by 7.03 gives us a break-even sales cases of uh, $1,252,000 thousand and two hundred twenty three cases and to further calculate the break-even point in sales dollars we multiply the break-even cases that we calculate above by the selling price per case to get a total break-even sales dollars of forty five million uh, eighty thousand and forty three dollars and next when we calculate uh, our break-even point in sales dollars we use our contribution margin ratio, which is the contribution margin divided by sales. And so our contribution margin per case, as we calculated previously, was 7.03, which gives us a total of $19,395,900. And our selling price, which is $36 per case, and a total of $99,360,000. And this divider gives us a contribution margin ratio of 19.52 per case and 19.52% in total as well. And so using this contribution margin ratio, um, we'll use it to calculate the break-even sales in dollars and per case, which also gives us the same amount as the last slide, which is $45,080,043 of break-even sales dollars and uh, a million two hundred fifty two thousand and two hundred twenty three dollars of break even sales cases. All right, so another part of our analysis had to do with marginal safety, which is basically how much of a buffer we have as a company. Um, so basically, to break it down a little bit neater for you, uh, we have our expected sales dollars, which is ninety nine million three hundred sixty thousand, uh, subtracted our break even sales dollars. 
in order to get 54,279,957. Um, that's basically the amount of margin of safety we have, uh, 54 million, that's a pretty good buffer. Um, and to break that down a little bit further in cases, basically we have a buffer of around 517,777 cases. And then just to show the margin of safety in actual dollars is we have an 18,639,957 dollar margin of safety um, total. So the other one from the previous slide was basically saying how much sales we have margin of safety and this is the amount of cases that we could sell to get that margin of safety. And just to show the ratios a little bit for the cases, um, we have our margin of safety cases divided by the projected sales we have for year one uh, to get 29.25% and then in dollar terms it's 54.63%. And to break it all down for you, put it all together, um, this just shows what we were going over on the other side, 517,777 cases would be our margin of safety or around $54 million. And yeah, our ratios are right here as well. All right, as you can see here, we have our sensitivity analysis results. We have three different cases, the first one being the pessimistic case. In that case, we're going to have a sales price per case a little bit lower than our original or break-even point. Um, as you can see here, the company would incur a loss of around $5 million just because of the uh, lower sales price per case and total variable cost per case would also decrease in that, in that circumstance. In the optimistic case, we would uh, have an operating income of around $15 million, so it's a pretty big increase. And that's solely based on the sales price per case and also the price per chicken at that point in time would be a little bit lower, so it increase our profit margin by a lot more. And then as you can see, based on the data, there's a pretty high chance that we would have a, a lot of success in this company since a lot of the benefits outweigh some of the negative outcomes. In the pessimistic case, the company would incur a loss around $5 million, like I said before. And that's really just dependent on the price of chicken and the market and the low sales volume that we would have. And on the other hand, in the optimistic case, there's a possibility of an operating gain of around $15 million, which is a pretty big difference compared to the pessimistic side. And it's also dependent on those same factors listed above. And despite that possible loss, it's clear that the company should be able to produce profits as long as they can control their sales price per, per uh, case in order to make up for that possible increase in price per chicken. Do we hatch? So after looking at all the financial information, you know, we decided that it would be um, a great idea to launch Chicken Sensations. Now we're going to um, evaluate the benefits of launching Chicken Sensations. Um, so there would be an increased revenue. Um, the projected operating income of the first year um, alone would be $10,595,900. Um, customer satisfaction and overall perception of the company would improve because you would have a successful product launch. Um, so then you could start building a positive company reputation as a healthy and nutritious food provider. And it would also have um, the potential to get new investors in the product and the company. So then when we look at the harms of um, potentially launching chicken sensations, you can see that in the pessimistic outcome, if that were to happen, the company would incur nearly a $5 million loss. But when weighed against the projected operating income of $10.5 million and the optimistic outcome of almost $16 million, the risk does appear to be worth it. Um, if this product were to fail, it would be the second failed product launch and management would probably not be happy with Richard and Richard would probably not have a job anymore. So that is the potential harm of launching the product. So ultimately, what should we do? We decided that we should absolutely launch the product and with our projected income forecasting a sizable profit, um, it would make sense to put Chicken Sensation on the market.